Stan, we have been um, discussing in Oslo inflation, energy, AI, chips, geopolitics, and so on. So when you put your investing hat on, what's at the top of your mind? The top of my mind... Let's continue. I thought I'd watch Stan, Stan Druckmiller, the macro king. Um, I'm not being facetious. I have just the utmost respect um, for Stan. Stan um, is someone that when he speaks, you have to listen very attentively. I would guess the top of my mind is just how uncertain for me trying to analyze the environment is going forward. I've been doing this for 45 years. I've studied a lot of economic history, but I've never had a situation where you had free money um, for 11 years, a very broad asset bubble followed by jacking up rates 500 basis points in 12 months. So for someone like me who likes to look at history and come up with uh, potential scenarios, this is a particularly difficult period. Two years ago wasn't so difficult when you had two years at 15 basis points and money supply growing at 30. It didn't take a genius to figure out that was a good risk reward. Um, Stan, money supply, really? Um, my objection there is we're talking when you're talking about M2 money supply, you're talking about the sovereign creation of dollars. That is dollars created within the sovereignty of the United States. That is banks extending credit, creating liabilities on the private sector balance balance sheet. Now, two years later. Um, we're seeing some of the problems. Actually, I would say it's more the liabilities that came onto the um, the balance sheet of the likes of Silicon Valley and First Republic. Massive Silicon Valley's liabilities or deposits went from, I think, 80 billion to 220 billion, which led them into uh, the folly of whatever they did with their, their treasury portfolio, but they bought very long dated treasuries. Just as Stan said, rates went up. 500 basis points. Um, and again, we'll come back to it, but I think Stan is very, very focused on a Fed centralized world and Fed money. And I believe over the last 50 years, Fed money has become very much the minority player and has been overtaken by non sovereign dollar creation. That is, dollars created outside the sovereignty of the United States by presenting collateral to banks outside the United States, and they in return will print fresh greenbacks. Anyway, let's continue. These days, things are a lot more complicated, but you just mentioned about everything on our mind. The generative AI, um, inflation is on our mind, um, asset bubbles, currencies, all the stuff we usually think about. So how do you navigate it then? Uh, well, uh, luckily, I don't have any clients, so I don't have, uh, I don't, well, I, I don't see, have you to, see, I have, I have one client and it's pretty big. <laughs> it's really big. Um, I don't have to, I don't feel performance pressure. Um, so historically, I deal in five or six asset buckets tends to keep me out of trouble in terms of playing in an area where I shouldn't be playing at, the, at a particular time. Uh, right, again, let's just stop there. Probably going to be annoying, but when he says five or six, um, he plays at all times in five or six um, asset buckets. Um, think about that. That's quite wise. Um, I would advise private investors, do-it-yourself investors, uh, to think along similar lines. Um, I've pinned on my... Uh, Twitter account, um, my notion of a permanent portfolio. A permanent portfolio is this notion of, if you will, there are four compass 
compass points, cardinal points in the world of micro investing. You have the S and P. You have um, duration treasuries. That is ten plus years um, in the U.S. Treasury bond market. You have another bucket which you could broadly label alternatives. That could be gold. It could be silver. It could be Bitcoin. It could be platinum and palladium. It could be real estate. It could be private equity. It could be index linked bonds. And then the final one would be um, cash. And that might be a consideration on uh, the currency that you hold your cash within. So think of like four buckets. Um, in my pinned portfolio, um, as some of you may know, um, I am enthusiastic in the potential that's been created by mean reversion in um, long-dated US government bonds, where if we take the proxy of the ETF TLT, the price has fallen from an extreme high of 180 uh, to lows of mid the 90s, so kind of halved. That's what I call mean reversion. And I believe there are forces afoot outside America as we travel uh, to Asia, and in particular, given its sheer size and magnitude, China and its accumulation, um, I would call it a Ponzi organized glut in savings, which then gets pumped into the US. And I think just as we saw in March 2009, when mean reversion had brought the S&P uh, crashing down by 60%, that was a buying opportunity. And I think today's a similar opportunity in those bonds. But as Stan says, he plays five or six buckets. So moving uh, moving on to the other cardinal points, um, equities, and I've expressed an enthusiasm for um, a bucket of commodity-inspired equities. That might be your reals, your billetons. That might be your uh, uranium stocks. It may be your agricultural stocks. It may be your gold mining stocks. I have an allocation there. And then if we come into alternatives, um, I have uh, expressed um, uh, another mean reversion kind of play in Bitcoin via the Grayscale Trust, where not only did Bitcoin fall by over 60, 70%, but the um, the closed end fund, the uh, it trades, um, it tends to trade either a premium or a discount. And with the crash in the Bitcoin price, uh, the discount widened to the highs of 40, 45%. So an asset which had crashed, uh, a vehicle which is trading on wides where you can buy the underlying asset um, for less than its value. And then finally, if we go into the uh, my fourth bucket, I've expressed a desire to be long the US dollar and short the Chinese renminbi, which is presently around seven and seems to be on the slide. I am not enthusiastic that things are going well within China. So buckets, if you will, permanent portfolio. Um, let's continue with Stan. Thank you.